The question for this week's Q&A is, Gut doctor, I have an embarrassing problem of burping a lot and often hundreds of times a day. I can't control this and this is making me feel down. What can I do? What a fantastic question. Let's jump right to it. Believe it or not, this question by our subscriber is a reasonably common question that's asked by patients. People can suffer from burping and it's important to have an idea of whether that's part of a normal process or if it's a problem that needs treatment. Burping is also known as belching or eructation. Burping is a sudden gas escape of air from the esophagus into the pharynx or throat region, which usually has a distinctive sound. <coughs> An interesting bit of trivia is that each time we swallow, between eight to 32 mils of swallowed air enters the stomach. Over time, that air accumulates in the stomach and a very normal mechanism called gastric burping gets rid of that swallowed air. Valves known as sphincters, which are located at the top and bottom of the esophagus, relax to allow air from the stomach to enter up into the esophagus. With the aid of the diaphragmatic muscle, which is a large muscle responsible for breathing, and the rectus abdominal muscle, which are abs or six-pack muscles, there is a powerful contraction of the esophagus generated, which propels air from the bottom of the esophagus all the way up to the top and then out of the mouth. This gastric burping, as mentioned, is normal, and you can do up to 30 burps a day. Gastric burping becomes more frequent after drinking busy drinks, like lemonade, because of the carbon dioxide gas, which adds to the air in the stomach and makes more burps. Burping can also increase when we do a lot of physical activity, as body movement and increased abdominal pressure causes relaxation of the lower esophageal sphincter. Gastric burping is usually not a problem for people, except for the rare situations where some people swallow lots of air. This uncommon condition called aerophagia can make people feel bloated and produce very frequent burping. Our subscriber has told us about burping hundreds of times a day. This type of burping would be in keeping with supragastric burping. So the next question naturally becomes, what is supragastric burping? Normally, when we try and take a deep breath, our breathing muscle or diaphragm contracts. In people who have supragastric burping, we find that the diaphragm contracts extremely easily in response to very minimal stimuli. When that happens, air gets abruptly sucked into the esophagus, but the air does not go all the way to the stomach. The lower esophageal sphincter remains closed and with contraction of the abdominal muscles, the air gets pushed back up the esophagus and out of the mouth. People that have supragastric burping can find it markedly affecting their quality of life. And indeed, supragastric burping has been associated with anxiety and other psychiatric disorders. Behavioral therapies can be helpful in treating this condition, as well as special exercises that focus on the proper use of the diaphragm muscle. These special exercises work to address the diaphragmatic contractions that so easily trigger supragastric burping. We're going to be showing diaphragmatic breathing exercises in a future animation, so stay tuned for this. A good night's sleep can help reduce burping, and eating different foods that have less sugar and starch in them can also help. Reducing chewing gum, minimizing carbonated drinks, and drinking through a straw has been reported as being helpful. Finally, medications are sometimes trialed if symptoms are very severe. I hope this has been a helpful video for our subscriber and of interest to you all watching. Take a look at my other explainer videos if you haven't already, and leave your comments and thoughts down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.